Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Oh boy, fight. Okay, we're back again. Alright, last episode we just defeated Gnome in the Earth Temple here. So I'm going to try and make my way out of this temple. Ooh, ribbon. Gnome is so cute. Cute, <laughs> really? Just look at that ribbon on his head, the way it spins and spins and spins. We're talking about ribbons, Perseus is cute too. My ribbon does not spin. <laughs> Perseus, wait! Oh, poor Janinas. Seriously though, I don't think that thing on Gnome is a ribbon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does look like one, but, you know. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna... Make my way out of here, and I'm probably gonna try and take on that sword dancer again. So we'll see how lucky I am this time. I don't know. We'll find out. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. Now that we have our riards, we can like go anywhere now and do anything. So cool. Did I get that? Nope. Well, there I go. I got it. Where is it? Over here somewhere. Aha! Let's give it a try. I want to just see if my uh, party is who I want it to be. Um, yeah, that's who I want it to be. And Strat, I want them to... <coughs> use, uh, use at once. And I want Colette Angel Feathers on a, uh, yeah, on a shortcut. There, now I should be all ready. Let's give it a try. I better do it this time. Well, wait, how are my items? Oh, they're not too good, but... Life bottles. I got four. <laughs> I might be okay. I'll try. Fight everything. I remember my reason to exist. Strong one, fight me. Wager your life and come. It looks really strong. Really strong. So I want Colette to use her, uh. her angel feathers right away. Okay, Jesus is gonna need some uh, healing here. Oh boy, Genus, <laughs> use a uh, life bottle, please. Use it again! Ah! Ah! No! Oh! Ah! <laughs> That's bad! <laughs> ah! That's not. Oh. I didn't think that was gonna do a, a good, decent amount of damage to him, considering it was like darkness based. Oh no, 
not this time. E. <laughs> um, no healing. Oh no, not this time. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap! He really got me there. Lots of uh. <laughs> he had me trapped in a grave and then he just sliced me in two! Ah! Yeah, I hope we got this. I mean, we're doing all right, but hmm. Yeah, I'm out of TP. What should I do? Yes, more uh, TP for you. Ah, uh, we're getting better. We're much better now. Good, better shape than we last tried, them anyways. Oops. That was my bad. I don't really want Rain to be using her uh, her photon, because that's also a weakness of his, but oh, we got him. Whew. We did it at least. I remember I am the strong ones. I wait next time. Next time. Whew. Yeah, kissing jewel. Elite from the underworld returns. That thing's gone stronger. Could it be recovering more of its former power every time we fight it? Hmm. It's probably come. It'll probably come out again, and it'll be even stronger than it is now. What can we do? Wandering spirit that seeks only combat. When it has fully restored its power, and if we best it, it's likely that it will deplete itself in the fight, and its soul will vanish. <laughs> so we have to become even stronger than its true power and force it to give up. <laughs> Phew. Well, I'm glad that's over with finally able to defeat that thing um whew. now that we got a uh, gnome I really kind of forget what we need to do right at this moment um didn't they say we needed to go to Ifrit or something or no 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 we need to go to Flanor I remember now she's over here you know what before I do that I'm gonna go and buy some uh, items because I've really depleted myself fighting that uh, sword dancer. So, can I go in here? What is this? Huh, it's kind of strange. Anyways, um, yeah, I think I wanna try to hear those at stock up on some supplies. Then we can go to Flanor. Huh. Wait, did uh, did she talk to these dogs yet? I forget. Yeah, I think she did. Nope, we want to go all the way around. 
And I'll probably stay at the end, too. Oh, did she name that one? Yes, she did. Gotta make sure we got all these dogs. Good enough for me. Okay, now we can uh, head out. After staying at the end, of course. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's stay here. I think it'll be cheaper here than in Flanor, so. At least I hope so. Whatever. Doesn't matter much to me in either way. I'm just glad we finished that sword dancer. And I forget what that thing does. That mirror. Or not the mirror, but the, this thing. To defeat evil spirits. Okay, well, I want... Um, holy symbol. Protection. You can have... Yeah, good enough for now. Alright, let's head out. It better be good, since defeating that sword dancer is pretty difficult work. I know where it is. Which is over this way. Yay! I like snow areas. They're so cool. The snowy city of Lenore. Covered so because of the ice cave. You're going to Flanor Clinic, right? Are you sick? You look pretty healthy, though. There must be a special reason for you to come to a cold place like this. Are you alright? Uh, please, hang on. I'm sorry, it seems I've been struck by evil energy. Evil energy? Do you by any chance possess the devil's arms? Devil's arms? The evil eye that you possess is one of the devil's arms. Who are you? My apologies, my name is Abyssian. I'm the last surviving member of a family of demon hunters. I'm Lloyd, I'm on a journey with my companions. What does a family of demon hunters do? There was once a man named Neblim who attempted to conquer Tethiala. Niblum was eventually defeated by a single swordsman, but his lingering hatred fused itself into the swordsman's nine pieces of arms and cursed the swordsman's descendants. Ha, huh, that's pretty scary. Family of demon hunters are the descendants of the swordsman who defeated ne Neblin. <laughs> Every member of my family lost their lives to the curse of the devil's arms. That's terrible. Anything? Can anything be done? If all nine items are gathered and sealed, the family curse will be lifted. So that's why you asked us about the devil's arms. Yes, however, the curse has progressed more quickly than I expected, and I too have been struck by Niblum's evil energy. I think it will be difficult for me to continue gathering the devil's arms in my condition. Let's help him, Lloyd. Yeah, after all, we already have some devil's arms. Let's find the rest ourselves. Are you sure? It's not a minor task. Dorm vow number two. Never abandon someone in need. Then please, take this sword and key. The devil's arms carry the will of Neblum and the pieces respond to each other. When this sword reacts, you surely find devil's arms in that area. When you've collected all of the arms, please return to Flanor. Neblum. Neblum's key. Does the curse of the devil's arms affect anyone besides members of your family? <laughs> no, it shouldn't. What is it, Persea? No, it's nothing. Okay then, we'll be back soon, Abyssian. Thank you, I'm in your debt. So, we got a little side quest happening. We've got to find those arms. They're pretty much scattered throughout the world, so we'll, we'll be getting them throughout the rest of the game. Poochie! I probably should have waited and stayed at the end here just to see what kind of uh, cutscene we get, if anything. Celsius Tear is a flower that grows in the ice caves. Ah, excuse me. By any chance, have any Celsius tier? What's that? 
<laughs> the little kid just told us. The famous ice flower in Flamora has the mysterious power to freeze anything. Freeze anything. I don't know if anything. I don't know of anything like that. See, if you find anything, please let me know. I'll pay whatever you ask. Please be careful when handling the Celsius tear. If you touch it directly, you'll be badly burned. Then how do we get it? You'll be fine if you touch it with penguinist gloves. Ask the old man at Snow White Accessory Shop about it. All right, so uh, we know what to do there. We need to make some gloves. Hmm. I think someone. I think I'm going to catch a cold by the time my turn comes. <laughs> Achoo! Living up to see, or we're lining up to see the doctor. If you want to see him, line up behind us. I don't know if he's any good, but he's the only doctor in Flanor. It's finally my turn next. I can't even remember how many days I've been in line. Flanor Clinic has an excellent reputation, but I'm not really sick enough to stand in line and wait for the doctor to take a look at me. And why are you standing in line at all? Anyways, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Godspeed, stay frosty. See ya.